All right, working on a PMD seat here. And as you can see, after taking the cover off, it's full of rust. Most of it's just surface rust. It's not through the metal. So you're just going to get a wire brush and scrape off all the rough rust that's on it. And then uh, after you do that, blow it off. And I have some stuff. It's called... It's a navel jelly rust remover by Loctite. This stuff is pink. Open it up. It's pink in color. And this stuff works really fast within five to ten minutes. Just get a brush and just brush it on like this. Do the whole thing wherever there's rust. You are supposed to wash this off, but because it's a uh, got foam pad connected to it I'm just going to use a, a rag and I'm going to wet it with water and I'll keep wetting it and keep wiping off all this when it's dry in 5-10 minutes and I'll take a video of the after how it looks after as you can see you can hardly see any metal there's a few metal spots showing there and there but most of it's brown here's you can see the metal here but we'll see how it looks afterwards after I coat this and wipe it off all right it's been about 10 minutes and here you go that's the result of it after 10 minutes I already wiped it off with a rag a wet rag you can still I, I think this is some surface rust still in these spots right here where it's dark but you could see like a lot like I don't know it's it's a big improvement before you could only see a metal patch here and a couple spots here. Now you can almost see 80% of the metal. Most of the surface rust is gone. Now I could keep going and keep adding uh, that stuff on there again and again until it all comes off. I might do it one more time and see how it comes out after and just put it on the more thicker spots. The reason why I have to do it like this is because this metal is connected to the foam and uh, to take it apart would be really hard I don't even think it does come apart uh, it's like molded on there the foam so that's why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it alright I'm gonna put one more layer on here on the thicker parts of the rust where you can see it it's dark still and I'll take another video and see how it looks but so far so good And there you go. Most of the surface rust is now gone. It's been eliminated. You can see a little bit right here. A couple little spots there. A few spots there. But compared to the way it looked before, it's night and day. This is the day and the other video showed the night. So now, um, I can leave it like that, but I'm just going to do one more step further. Get this little abrasive disc over here and try to get some of that rust Okay, I just put my uh, angle grinder on here with a surface prep pad and I got a lot more of that surface rust off. So this thing's pretty much ready for etch primer now. I'm going to get everything with etch primer and um, you can paint it if you want, but uh, you're not going to see it. So probably just going to do primer. All right, just put some etch primer on there. I use Sims self etching primer. It's about $15 a can. But this is good stuff. You don't want to use cheap etch primer from Home Depot or anything. like this stuff here. This stuff don't work too good. I were still I get the sand product instead. So I got all the bare metal because this is uh, sheet metal. This is not aluminum, so it will rust again if you don't put some etch primer down. You can see I got it up under there, all the way around. Get these sides 
get the holes. Even get up under here if you can reach it. And try to spray in there because it likes to rust up in there as well. So this thing's going to be dry. It'll be dry in, in about an hour, half hour. It's a hot day. So I'll, while this drying, I'll go and grab the other one that I already did. Let this one dry in the sun here for a little bit. And I'll grab this one that I already did. And I'll start laying the material on this one. This one's all nice and dry, ready to go. Okay, I'm gonna start off by replacing the bottom um, of the seat. And two things you're gonna need, or actually three, you're gonna need the, those side rails, this piece here, little tiny rails. These just slide in place. You got one on both sides, and then you're gonna have to keep the, the original padding that slips in here through this little groove here. Okay, I got my uh, seat upholstery. It's in the sun. You wanna kinda heat it up so it stretches a little bit easier. You don't want it when it's cold to do this because it's gonna be hard to stretch it. And if you see, this thing has the same pocket where this padding is gonna go slide right up under there. And you're gonna use hog rings just like they did in the original and uh, tie these together onto the hog ring. So that's what I gotta get done now. It also has a little groove here for the uh, metal rods. Once the rings are pushed back in there and the new ones, remove the padding, it slips right out. This padding should fit right in between this little pocket here. It goes right in here. As you can see, there's a little opening here. That's where this little piece comes up, right here. And when you put your hog rings, that's what ties these two pieces, holds onto that piece right there, once the padding's in there. So I'm gonna put the padding in there and I'll show you how it looks after. All right, once you got the padding in place, take some hog rings that come with the kit and you'll see the middle piece of the material has a little uh, clamp right here, a little piece to clamp onto and then this the actual seat upholstery has two pieces. So you gotta grab all three of them and bunch them together and put your hog, hog line around all three. You only need about maybe four, three to four of them to hold this in and that's all and then you go on to the next step okay next uh, flip the material inside out like that and set it up on your seat there's a seat this is the passenger side and you'll see there's a loop here and there's one over here so this one here loops around here you gonna put that in first Just like this and then hold on I get kind of do it with one hand okay there you go the loops in there is a little rod that it kind of goes inside there and then after that all you got to do is uh, get a hog ring and hog ring this piece of metal to this it's hard to see but there's a little rod in here as well just going across and that hog ring ties to that and that's what holds that piece in and I'll do that right now on both sides okay so I got these pieces in there, just like I said, that just slides into that groove. Put a hog ring on this side, put one on, put one on that side, and then you can unfold this onto the, the seat. All right, put this uh, material, I inverted it the other way around the, the, this uh, cushion. And I'm not gonna show you 100% how to do this, but I'll just give you an idea. Next, you're gonna grab these things here. They tie down to right here. You gotta put a couple on both sides. Pull this one. You gotta pull it too, real tight when you're doing this. You're gonna staple those down, hog ring those down. Then this piece comes down here. That piece right there. And then this piece here. This one's gonna get hog ringed over here somewhere. And this one's gonna be hog ringed right there. 
and then you're gonna have the sides to do as well hog, hog tie these ones as far as you can get them in uh, I think they're gonna there's little holes here for the hog rings and I'm gonna do that now and I'll show you the end result when I'm done all right um, there was some hog rings up in here that I had to do which is the very first one under this and then you got to put these two here a uh, couple here for the bottom piece and then you got the side ones as well on both sides three on that side tie these down pull these back and tie these down and then you're done and that's your seat you're upholstered don't worry about the wrinkles the sun will get that out later make sure you pull it nice and tight so it's nice and uh, fits without any wrinkles And pretty much the top, it's it's similar. Uh, you got to take the PMD uh, emblem out, which is uh, this one's no, I think so, which is right here. This comes out, but you you got to take it out from the inside. Um, again, there's padding on this thing as well that you got to reuse, which is this padding here, and put it into the other seat material. Once I get this padding out, I'll show you the PMD uh, emblem.